What's going on YouTube? I am back with another video and in this one we have another PSA preview uh, submission video. So I have a stack of 21 cards here that I'm about to send to PSA. 20 of these cards will be sent at five day uh, and I do have one card that I will be sending express because I am going to the Dallas card show next month from March 12th through the 14th. So I am super, super excited about that. I just booked my flight and hotel yesterday and I have a card that I want to get back and have ready for the card show. Just in case I do get any crazy offers on it, I will have it, it will be back from PSA. And if I do wanna move it, then I can move it. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. And I'll, I'll talk about that when I do get to it. Uh, so definitely wanted to uh, get that out there that I will be at the Dallas card show. I've seen a lot of videos the past few weeks of the most recent one, and it just looks like an absolutely insane time, basically like a mini national. So I'm really excited about that. So uh, before we do get into the submission, I do as always want to say that if you have not subscribed to the channel would definitely appreciate that if you would like and comment on the video that does help the channel out a lot so we have a preview video today we should have a PSA reveal video tomorrow I'm expecting a PSA shipment today so I'll get that video recorded and hopefully that will be up tomorrow I was hoping to have a box of certified basketball today but the, that uh, did get pushed back due to all the winter storms across the country so potentially Friday I might have certified basketball uh, if it's delayed past Friday potentially we might have some Pokemon shining fates on the channel so we'll see what happens but this one we will have a PSA preview PSA reveal most likely tomorrow and then either shining fates or certified on Friday and then I do still have those videos with loot box TV coming very soon they ripped some crazy crazy stuff this past weekend at Louisville sports cards so those are still in the works as well so with all that out of the way, we are ready to go ahead and get into the submission. Again, we are sending 20 cards at five day and one card express because I do want to get that one back as quickly as possible. And I get questions all the time. No matter how many times I say it in the videos, five day is currently taking about a month and a half. So just want to get that out there. Uh, you know, uh, for my group submissions, when I send 20 day, I honestly have no idea. Could be four months, could be eight months. Uh, there's really no, you know, certain time on 20 day, but five days consistently about a month and a half to two months with shipping to and from. So we'll go ahead and get into it. Now, the majority, pretty much all of the sports cards I am sending, I do have some Pokemon, but all of the sports cards I am sending uh, will... Uh, primarily be for the mystery mystery boxes or fire packs. So first one up, we have a Nasir Little. This one is out of select. One that I've had in the collection for a long time and uh, just, you know, was going through some, some boxes, seeing what I could potentially grade. Came across this one and this one is the red parallel number to 199. So nice looking one there with the red Trailblazers Uni. So uh, one that I actually pulled recently, my wife and I uh, ripped some, some illusions off camera. We did pull a Luca illusions. I believe this is the teal parallel. So a uh, nice one there. And then a Zion Luminance, one that I did recently send to HGA that did come back a 9.5. We're gonna give it a go with PSA. So this one I, I believe is one that I pulled recently as well. And same thing, uh, DeAndre Hunter, Luminance. This is the green, so you can kind of barely see it up there. I really like the uh, Luminance from the year prior, the 1819 class, where the name would have been green rather than just the, the very small print up there. Uh, but what are you gonna do? So <laughs> DeAndre Hunter, Luminance Green. And next up, we got a Zion Hoops Premium Silver. So. On camera, Hoops Premium uh, has not been very kind to me, but off camera, I have had some really, really good pulls. I believe I've pulled uh, the, uh, the other Zion. So this one is the tribute version. The, uh, you know, just the normal base Zion Silver. Um, I'm trying to think. I know I've had some other really nice pulls. I think the Ja Morant uh, Silver Laser might have been off camera. I'm not exactly sure, but I know I've definitely had some really, really good pulls off camera out of Hoops Premium. Uh, oh, speak of the devil, here is the Ja Morant uh, Silver. I guess I was thinking about the, sh the Shimmer out of T-Mall I did pull on camera, so that's what I was getting confused about. I think I pulled this one off camera. So the Ja Morant Hoops Premium Silver Laser, these do come out of the Cello packs. I, I'm pretty sure that my wife and I opened a few of those recently and we, uh, we pulled this one. So 
nice one there for sure. And then uh, out of, again, out of Hoops Freeman. Now this is out of the T-Mall box, so you can see the shimmer. Uh, I think, I think I pulled this one off camera as well. So the, the LeBron high voltage shimmer. I saw the gold and they do have golds in uh, T-Mall, which are number to eight. I saw the gold and got really excited and thought I pulled a card number to eight, but it is just a LeBron high voltage. Uh, still a very, very nice card. Not just a LeBron, but LeBron high voltage. And next up, we have another one out of Hoops T-Mall. This one is the Cam Reddish. Uh, variation so you can see the shimmer parallel there out of t-mall and it is the variation so nice one there nice pose with him going up for the dunk and then the only card that i was able to grade that did come from my optic football hobby box is the aj dillon uh there was a few cards actually i take that back i did send the two a base to uh, hga but all the other ones I, you know they either had uh, surface marks or you know whatever it may be so the Tua and the AJ Dillon were the only two that I felt should uh, be sent to graded. So that is going to do it for all of the sports cards. I think pretty much every single one of those will be either for sale or will be in mystery boxes or fire packs. So nothing, nothing for the, uh, the PC there. And next up, it's going to be all Pokemon cards until our final card. So if you guys watched the video where I did open the McDonald's packs for the 25th anniversary, uh, we, we're going to send a bunch of the hollows. Now I did leave a few out. A few of these were really off center. Some did have like some corner nicks and dings. So I tried to pick out the ones that were in the best possible shape. And again, most of these I will probably end up selling other than the gen one starters. So we do have two squirtles here, two squirtle hollows. We have a grookey hollow. We have a Bulbasaur. We have two Charmanders. So the ones that I do have doubles, like if I have two Squirtles, two Charmanders, if they all do get tens, I would probably sell one, just keep one. So we have a non-hollow Pikachu. I was able to pull a hollow Pikachu. This one was off camera. And you know, later on after I opened those packs, I did uh, kind of figure out that the I think the Pikachus and the Charmanders are only in certain numbered packs. So that's why I was probably opening the wrong numbers. That's why I didn't get the Pikachu. And next up, we have a Trico Hollow, and then we have another Grookey Hollow. And honestly, one of my favorites is the Tepig. I really, really like the Hollow pattern on that one. I, I don't know why, but just uh, I, I think that one looks better than most of the others, at least for the Hollow. So our final card, I am going to send the Ja Morant Contenders Optic. This is the best pull that I have ever made. Uh, you know, personally, not like in a break or anything like that. Uh, so I did pull this one out of a Contenders Optic Hobby Box on the channel a few months ago. Uh, it was a redemption, and I'm sure you guys probably saw that video recently where I reached out to Panini, and they were able to get this overnighted to me, which is awesome. And I debated on grading it because, honestly, I do want to keep this in the PC. Um, I really don't have any interest in selling it, but... I am going to the Dallas Card Show next month in March, and you know I've just seen a lot of videos on YouTube of you know the amount of money that is at that show. People are buying, selling, trading, just extremely high-end cards. So I decided I want to go ahead and send this to PSA, get it back as quickly as possible. And if someone is interested in making you know just like a crazy cash offer on the card that I can't refuse, I am gonna take it with me and have it. I'm gonna take the Luca. Um, I'm going to take the Luca Threads Gold, and I'm also going to take the Luca uh, Prism Mosaic Blue PSA 10. So I will have basically the three biggest cards in my collection in case, you know, anyone wants to make an offer that I cannot refuse. So we're going to see what happens. Now, I will say, looking at this in the one touch that it came in, it looked in really, really good shape. And I know a lot of people mentioned that it was off center, you know, on the bottom, you can tell there's bigger space over here. Trust me guys on the contenders optic cards, I have seen much worse centering than this still pull a 10. So I'm not worried about that. The only thing I am worried about is there is a little surface dimple, which again, for contenders optic to have one surface dimple is really, really good. But there is a Surface dimple. I'm not even sure if the camera can pick it up, but it's right under the T. Um, so that is the only thing I'm worried about. It's a little bit off center, which I am well aware of. And then it does have one very, very small surface dimple. So in my mind, it could definitely easily pull a 10. It could easily get a nine. We'll just have to see what happens. 
uh, but I am definitely gonna pay up for the uh, premium service on this one, get that back as quickly as possible. So I do have it again for the show in Dallas next month. So that is gonna do it for this uh, PSA preview video. Again, tomorrow I will have a PSA reveal on the channel, and then the following days I will have uh, some really cool videos as well. So stay tuned for those. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you soon.